Ah, right, YouTube. I'm gonna upload this video with the one I uh, made the other day today. So, guess the subject is grass. Grass updates. So yeah, this is the hay I uh, put fertilizer on in the other video. I also sprayed this one an additional time for weeds um, about a month ago now. And it's pretty clean of weeds. I mean, there's only a couple here and there and they're all miniature. I mean, they're not really gonna affect anything, but I don't know, I might mow this soon. Because it is kind of tall. I mean, it's knee high. But some of it's heading out. So, and I do kind of want to get a pretty decent second cut. I mean, I might be able to still find some of the fertilizer I put down the other day because, yeah, see there's a bit there. Because this, uh, we haven't had any rain here in a little while. We're gonna get rain later this uh, later this week though, so hopefully it uh, will beat that into the ground. And this stuff will go crazy here over the next couple, over the next week. And grow another four or five inches. Maybe even Another six or seven. I mean, this stuff is, uh, it's close. I'll be able to cut it here in a little while, but yeah. The backfield is a different story. It's, the center of it's about this tall, but that strip where some extra fertilizer got onto it is, uh, much taller. Like the outside rounds, the outside broadcast uh, pattern of that is really really thick and green I mean some of this stuff is uh, laid over just because wheel tracks and but it doesn't look half bad I mean this stuff is pretty good and this uh, this is about how tall I'd like it to be before I cut it how tall I'd like all of it to be so yeah I think I'll wait another week or so see what happens with the rain and everything else but uh I've got something else to show you guys once those uh because the uh, people are delivering hay for the horses today so um yeah I'll uh give you another insight on that what uh we had to deal with earlier in this 90 plus degree heat earlier with uh, the baler so yeah <laughs> I'll show you what happened there yeah anyway, I just got done posting that one video here's the corn apparently dad, dad was saying the deer were coming along and just munching this stuff I have to start getting the defense system ready I don't see anywhere where they ate any though. Might have eaten a couple here and there, but I don't see any that they ate. I don't know. Dad said they were just going along and lunching on. This one's dying here. So is that one. It's a dry. That's the only problem. It's dry now. And look at this. There's no water in this ground. It's all dust. Oh, here. Maybe here. I don't know. That doesn't look like it's been eat. But anyway, the corn does look pretty good. So, uh, I'm out here at the barn. I'm out here at the barn now, and uh, oh, it looks like they broke a baler too. Hey, huh? Well, I'm out here at the baler. It's sitting out here. Looks fine, right? Well, I took this tire off this morning because it's got a slow leak in it, obviously, because 
why not it's here on the valve stem is a little bit of a hole in the side of it and uh, take it off roll it in there dumb me didn't put a jack stand under the thing and it flopped off the jack well that led to a pretty major discovery back in here take your sunglasses off led to a pretty interesting and not too good discovery right back in here you see that, look, that doesn't look right that there is the uh, plate that mounts the uh, axle stub in this big old I-beam to the main frame of the baler it's broken off you can see the crack starts here runs long under here no it the crack starts here runs over that up to here ish right yeah up to goes up here and runs the whole length of the plate and yeah <laughs> it's not exactly a good thing point at the baler for a minute but you can see here also I think that that thing's been bur been uh, split for a very very long time because the last man, uh, guy who owned this welded an extra plate here because you see the original plate ended here that's add-on that he painted himself. I don't think the other side has any welding on it. Yeah, the other side's the standard equipment. Yeah, the other side's stock. It's the standard equipment that came with the baler. But yeah, the other side isn't. So yeah, and uh, yeah. I don't know if you should oil that or not. I don't think you should. That wad board's looking kind of worn, even though it's fairly new. It's a fairly new piece because the guy put a whole new wad board. He put a whole new board and frame in there. So well, anyway. Yeah, still got a bale of hay in here too. The shorter bales seem to work out kind of pretty nicely, but need to tighten down the, uh, yeah, that bale uh, cooked as well. So yeah, gotta tighten that again too. But, yeah, I'm, I'm just rambling on about random stuff here. My sunglasses. Anyway. Um, hot as heck here right now. Uh, it's about nine. It was about 90 today. So working on that thing in the sun because when it flopped off the jack, it popped that crack wide open and crammed the axle up underneath the baler. And uh, I had we had to uh, get another jack, put it between the axle and the mainframe of the baler, force it open, pry it pry it back out, put the tire on, pry it back out, then put the jack underneath it, force the crack, force the split metal back together, put the tire on and lower the baler back down. So that now it's the weight of the baler sitting on it and holding the crack shut. But we gotta weld it or something. And I am, of course, so I'm not taking welding classes until this fall. So, yeah, I don't know. But here you can see, uh, there's a better example of the fertilizer line that I had, because this all got really, really laid on heavy, thick with fertilizer, and it's heading out. I should actually probably cut this soon, this field really soon. But here you can see the definitive because this stuff's tall, it's up to my waist about. But uh, there's the fertilizer line right here.
right where that wheel track is is basically the fertilizer line where it thins out. It's not as definitive anymore. Well, over here it's really definitive. Let me show you this. See there? Thick green, looking really nice over here. Thin, not as green. But it's all looking all right. I mean, there's parts of the field that are thinner than others. But yeah, this is kind of the edge. I guess I'll walk out. I mean, this batter's dying in the camera. So. Yeah, it thins out towards the middle a little bit, but not really too bad. I think I might cut this after we get the rain. Maybe let it, maybe the day, the day after it uh, stops raining, because this fescue is, uh, is headed out, even though it's not very tall in here, but there's definitely a lot more here than last year. I'm thinking that I can cut this, like, here at the end of this next week and get 20 or so bales off of it because it's there's a crap load of material here compared to last year so yeah anyway that's the buckle with the baler and the grass update basically so yeah thanks for watching be sure to subscribe again you don't have to but Whatever. I don't know. See ya. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you later.